Okay, in this video we're going to make our rotor that goes on the inside, and the next one we'll make our caliper. So, let's go to polygons, and I'm going to hide this stuff by selecting it and hitting the H key. I'm going to run a loop slice up the middle here, and I'm going to make a count of 1, 50%, just so it goes right up the middle. Then I'm going to go to polygons, select half of it and hide it with the H key and then I'm going to select these and hide those that way we just got half of our wheel showing actually I'll even hide this okay so here's what we got so what we want to do is build a rotor so let's go ahead and bring up my shader tree here my item list let's go to our right view let's grab a cylinder I'm gonna give it 42 sides so it'll be good and round and I'm gonna drag out a cylinder about that size right there go back to perspective view you can see what we got here we have this nice little cylinder right in place like so Okay, now this is going to be a polygon object, not sub D. So let's go ahead and loop these, select these loops. I'm going to loop slice it right here. We're hitting Alt C. I'm going to make the count four symmetry. I'm going to go ahead and stick them in there like that. Spacebar drop the tool, click the deselect, and now I have these two rings. Let's select like this, these edges, the, I mean these polygons, and loop select them like this. Let's hit the B key for bevel, click to activate the tool, and let's pull out on our blue handle a little bit. Make sure you have group polygon selected. I'm going to shift click to, to give it another segment, and I'm going to pull out like this. And this is going to give us our disc brakes, our rotor. Okay, so now let's go ahead and select that. Command X to cut it out. New item, mesh item. Let's copy that into a new mesh item. Turn the eyeball off for the watt tire, the uh, tire and rim, and now we got just our rotor. Okay, so now let's get a new mesh item, and we're going to put some cross drills in there because this is going to be a performance rotor, not just a regular old rotor. So I'm going to get a cylinder, and I'm going to click a cylinder out about that size right there. Go back to perspective view. Let's line this up. I want to drag it to where it goes all the way through both of them, as you can see. It goes all the way through both discs. So let's position this here a little bit. It's a little big for my taste, so I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. That's okay. Let's go back to perspective now so I can drag this out again, make it longer. Okay, now we have our tube going straight through there. Now, spacebar drop the tool, let's select this, copy and paste it, and bring it down like this. We'll copy and paste this again, and bring this other one down. Like this. Now let's roughly position these a little bit into place here. And you know this, just roughly, just do it by I. I am, you know, nothing real accurate for YouTube. Okay, now I have these three cylinders in there. It might be better to make four instead of three. You know, it's really up to you. And that's gonna be good enough for me. I mean, I'm being kind of picky here, but where I'm not using the ruler tool or anything. It, it's hard to get it even. So now we got these three cylinders. Let's go to our duplicate tab, radial array, and let's give it 19. Count. And let's click right in the center here. Like that. And as you can see, that spreads our cylinders all the way around. Okay. Now we have 
our cylinders on a separate mesh from our disc and our wheel is turned off completely. So let's select our disc layer, go to uh, mesh edit or polygon, I'm sorry. Well, it's under mesh edit, I'm sorry, boolean. Select boolean, subtract, okay, and it's going to go through and it's going to cut this up and boom, there we go. Now we have our cross drilled sections of our rotor. Let's go ahead and turn off our cylinder layer and there we go. Let's turn back on our wheel and let's subdivide our rim, unhide everything and now we have our cross drilled rotor ready and waiting to put our caliper on the side and we will do that in our next video. And if you want to you can go ahead and give this a material you could make it say chrome or whatever you want to do but we can do that in our last video there's no sense in doing it right now so there we go there's our performance cross drilled rotor in our next video we'll make our brake caliper so thanks for watching